there are a lot of people who want to scale their business. I think it's a great yeah. thing. However, are, are you great with communicating? I just want to know because <laughs> you're now working with other people who are looking to you mm -hmm. for direction, who are in yep. your customer in some form of fashion. And just bringing on a couple of extra hands does not equal as training them or whatever else or setting the tone for how you work with your customers. Like there's a lot of work that goes into there, into into that dynamic. But, but this is this is that part when I think about when you have people who, again, entrepreneurs, I start a business, I'm gonna hire my friends or my family or Jimmy off the corner. It's like, are you ready for that? Are you are you sure about that kid? You wanna you wanna jump into yeah. something like that? And we need to work on your communication. We need to work on how yeah. you focus on your customers. We need to work on all of these things, a, a strategic mindset, right? Mm. Like all of these things that people take for granted when they start the business, being a leader in your own business is easier said than done. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it, especially if you've never, I'm gonna say work for somebody else. Cause you do get, you do pick up a little bit of skills and, and what have you when you work for someone else be an example of how it could be done. You don't have to do it the exact same way, but you see an example. So imagine going from school to being a business owner. I would hope that there was somebody who modeled that for you, but you know, hope is not a strategy. It's merely a lot of plans, and I've been told, and I have told you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna hope. 